what's the status now? Where, where, where does it stand between you and Mark? Are you, are you, fans are hopeful for, well, some fans are hopeful for reconciliation. Yeah. I remember being on the phone with you one time and hearing him in the background. And I don't know if you want to talk about that, but. Where I don't do you want to talk about that. That was private. Okay. Where does it stand right now? Um, you know what? He's in New York. And since this show started airing, since actually, no, I'm sorry. Um, after Brooklyn's birthday, which was in November, things just turned around. Um, he has been very kind, very respectful, uh, very loving, and he wants his family to stay together. And um, I don't know what the end result will be, but he's definitely working on the marriage. Things are getting better. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to know. That's good to hear because, you know, I, I got a chance to, you know, obviously meet Mark and spend some time around him. And, you know, like, you know, I understand how editing and whatnot, I'm not blaming everything on editing, but at the same time, I, I, I like him. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's always been kind and respectful to me. And I understand that, like, even in the show one time, they made it seem like, you know, what he was being disrespectful at the, um, at the event that he held, whatever. But the fact that he even put that event on means a lot to him. He's just a, a good businessman and whatnot. And, and yeah. you know, I, I wish you and, and 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 mark well and i never want to see the demise of anybody's marriage or anybody's relationship but as long as you're happy and as long as he's happy and more importantly the happiness of your child brooklyn you know yeah. that's what matters to me that's the paramount concern for me is brooklyn at this point i think becoming a mother just shifted how i look at things um you know we have a long way to go i'm not going to say that it's going to be you know boom and we're back where we were but I really wish that people could have seen Mark, how he really is, mm -hmm. um, not how he's angry. He's very resentful of the fact that he's on television. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't want to be there, but in his mind, I'm supporting Kenya, but you're not supporting me if you're coming on the show angry and you're being an ass, you know, every time you're in a scene. Um, so that I wish, you know, he could understand, but, does he understand that now, Kenya? Does he does he understand because you know, I don't know. we we haven't really gotten that, that far. It's a touchy subject. I think we're working um backwards on fixing other things that were broken in the relationship. But um, you know, he was very, very public in saying initially that he did not want to be on TV. He did mm -hmm. not want any part of it. He did not want this part of my life. But unfortunately, that's not what a marriage is about because there are things that a wife will do for a husband that I don't necessarily want to do, but I'm going to be there to support my, my man, but I'm definitely not going to, you know, go to a gala that he's throwing and show my ass. Like mm -hmm. what point of that? Then just don't go. Um, so there's a lot of behind the scenes issues that we have to deal with. And I'm hoping that they'll get resolved. And if not, then I have to do with, what's best for myself and what's best for my daughter. I have a beautiful daughter. We have a beautiful daughter and she's bright. And in the words of our doctor, she's thriving. And mm -hmm. for a mother to hear that from a doctor and for people to see how special she is and knowing how long I've waited to have her and the struggles that I've had, that's all I care about. It's unfortunate, Kenya, because like it seemed like you were doing all you could to do it the right way. He didn't want to be on television. You respected his wishes, and you did. The, you got married without the cameras, and it was good, probably good for your marriage at the time. But then the TV show had a problem. Then you were pun. It seemed that you were punished for that. Then he comes aboard to support his wife, and that very thing that you guys both didn't want to do is, I would assume, what is a, a, a large part of the issues. And then you can't even resolve things right. You resolve something three months ago and then when the show airs it just picks open old scabs and wounds again and it seems like it's like it's very difficult to overcome that you you said you said a word claudia you know that is what most of the problem is um and and what i was saying to mike earlier you would love you know we had dinner together um mm -hmm. before mark actually came on the show mike yep. and but in even hanging out with Todd and Candy, I think Todd and Candy have, have seen Mark more in a casual setting. He is so funny and sweet and, you know, he's playful and he, he's so quick-witted. 
And that is not who you guys have seen on the show. So the Mark you've seen, I'm sure everyone is saying, why is she with him? They don't see who he really is. Um, because I think he's trying to portray, like, I'm so serious, you know, I'm not going to be a part of this, you know, reality TV buffoonery stuff. Um, which is, you know, to our detriment, honestly. 